Hi guys, so if you've been watching my videos, you know that I am loving gold spray paint right now. I'm not exaggerating when I tell you that I've probably painted over 100 things gold in the last couple weeks. My gold emporium. Today I'm gonna show you my three favorites. And don't worry, one of them is not these pants. <laughs> I'm Brooke and I'm passionate about creating beautiful things for my family on a budget. All right guys, let's get this gold party started with this cool monogrammed candle. It's super easy to make, literally takes less than five minutes and all you're gonna need is a candle of your choice. I found that a clear glass container works the best, a sticker letter and your trusty gold spray paint. So you wanna start by putting your sticker letter on the candle. You like my cool animal print stickers? I just like it right smack in the middle and we're ready to paint. All right, so you're gonna wanna spray paint outside or in a well-ventilated area, and you'll notice I covered the wax with painter's tape so you don't get gold on the actual candle itself. So it works best to do short, light strokes, and you should be able to cover the candle in about three turns, and then you're gonna wanna let that dry for about five minutes. Spray paint dries really fast, and then go back and do a really light second coat. Gloves are not a bad idea. All right, so once the paint's dry, we're gonna peel off the sticker, peel it off really gently so that you don't scratch the spray paint, and that's it. I wasn't kidding when I said this only takes five minutes, and it makes an excellent hostess gift. So this next one is my absolute favorite. I found a couple toys in the clearance bin, and I spray painted them gold, and they add such a cool, eclectic touch to any kid's room or nursery. So grab your toy, we're headed back outside. So we're just gonna give this guy one nice, even coat. So the only tricky part with the animals is to get the underneath and the bottom. Um, so just give it a couple minutes to dry and then go back and spray paint underneath and get all the little nooks and crannies so that you don't have any color showing through. Hey, nice pants! <laughs> so this little guy's dry and we're really done. But what I like to do is hot glue gun it to a scrap piece of wood, which I also painted gold, and it makes an adorable bookend. And I can promise you that this will never, ever come off. Like, ever. So for this last one, we're gonna repurpose an old fish bowl. I have more of these than I'd like to admit, and turn it into a stunning accent piece. Let's head back outside. All right, you know the drill. Eight to 12 inches, easy, light strokes. And we're all set. That's a fish bowl. Oh my God. One dollar. So and the gold <laughs> pants too. <laughs> you like the fan? Yeah, lovely. Uh, oh well, I figured I gotta, I gotta match my craft. Can you believe that this was a fishbowl five minutes ago? I think it looks really, really cool as a standalone accent piece, but it also looks amazing if you put some hydrangeas in it. And if you didn't see my Roses Three Ways video, you can just follow the instructions for the first elegant arrangement and make a bouquet of hydrangeas and just plop them in and voila, beautiful. All right guys, I had so much fun filming this episode. All gold everything. Tell me in the comments below which you're gonna spray paint gold, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like these. Bye. You see my what project? What are you doing? I'm spray painting, well I'm trying to find three cool things to spray paint gold for this week's episode, but in the process I've done about 100, but this is the best one. Look, I did Mike's Bluetooth you spray painted. Kill you. Hold on, you That's gotta get that. That's his favorite thing. I'm gonna be like, what do you think? <laughs> That's all I see him out is on here on his Bluetooth. How come he doesn't have it with him? Hello. <laughs> it still works.